well is. I'm just back from the meet, you see. Tally-ho, John Peel and all that. I love it. <laughs> Crashing through the hedges and jumping over the fences, bounding through the fields and splashing through all the streams. Andrew's always wanted me to take a horse, but I prefer slumming it. <laughs> I love the soil. Digging around in a load of old sod, you can't beat it. I laid this turf the other day just for the hell of it. When Andrew saw it, he said, Fergs, damn good job of turfing there. <laughs> Wouldn't it look better in the garden? <laughs> toot toot off to rub the drains. Hello, Sally. Hello, Jane. Goodness, you look like you could use a cup of coffee. Oh, yes, please. There oh, you go, then. Thanks. Mm. <coughs> oh, it tastes bitter. Just a minute. What were you doing just then? Nothing, nothing. Yes, you were. You were pouring your coffee into my plant pot. I wasn't. Yes, you were, Jane. Don't lie to me. I saw what you were doing. You took one sip of your coffee, said, ooh, tastes bitter, and then you threw it into my plant pot. Have you ever tried mildly mellow coffee, Sally? It's lovely. Different. Mmm, milder, too. Don't try and change the subject, Jane. Why did you pour your coffee away when I went to all the trouble of making it for you? Sally, you really should try mildly mellow blend coffee. It's different. Not sharp or bitter and... Mmm, much milder, too. Never mind all that. Why did you say yes when all you were going to do was to throw it away? I didn't throw it away. It was an accident. It just slipped, OK? I mean, I just happened to have a jar of mildly mellow coffee in my bag, and I just happened to think that you might like to try it, that's all. <laughs> Look, your hot plants just died. Get out. What? Oh, Get out of my house. You come in here pouring my coffee away, trying to tell me what sort of coffee I should like. Oh, push off. I push off out of it, you <laughs> smelly old bag. Oh, oh, dear rotten coffee. Introduce your friends to mildly mellow blend and see the difference it makes. And you can push off too! <laughs> oh. Reggie, what did you think of that new play at the Theatre Royal? Absolutely marvellous, old girl. Mm. You should see it. The scenery was delightful, the costumes terribly well made, and the actors and actresses all spoke very clearly. And what was it about? Oh, it's about three hours, I should think. Anything you can do, I can do, Vera. I can do anything, Vera can do. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I can drink my liquor faster than a flicker. I can do it quicker and even get sicker. I can live on bread and cheese. And only on that. Yep, silk and a rat. Anything you can sing, I can sing louder. I can sing anything louder than you. No, you can't. Yeah, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. So into the sixth and final round of this special family edition of the Krypton Factor. All fairly close at the moment, except perhaps for Ted Robbins. But then there's a lot of points to be won in this round, so he could make a comeback here. <laughs> General knowledge, rapid fire questions. Starting now, who is the only British athlete to win a gold medal in Moscow? Duncan Goodhue. Correct. 
Which international footballer was nicknamed Crazy Horse? Evelyn Hughes. Correct. Northern Rhodesia changed its name in 1964. What is it called today? Zambia. Correct. How many other planets orbit between the Earth and the Sun? Two. Correct. Which musical contained the song, I Talk to the Trees? South Pacific. Wrong, it was Paint Your Wagon. In microprocessor technology, what do the initials R-A-M represent? Random access memory. Correct. What is the next sketch? Well, it's the one that starts with... <laughs> Correct. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Victoria Wood. Very, very dear, close Look, Larry, lovey, I'd love to do Love's Labour's Lost Love, but I can't, not for love nor lolly. He said, lovey, 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 listen. It's not the lovely lolly, lovey. I said, look, Larry, lolly, golly, Larry, you don't understand a word I've been Two saying. Minutes, please. I'm off! <laughs> We're having a few rubbers of bridge over the weekend, old girl. Fancy making up a foursome? Oh, Reggie, I play a filthy game. <laughs> yes, well, I'll just stick to the bridge, if that's all right with you. Most 
I don't know. I can't hear you. Look, I told you everything. Why won't you believe me? Because you're lying. I'm not, I swear to God. I want the truth. You hear me? Stop it, Christine. I'll kill him. How oh, you won't? I'll kill him. <laughs> Out with it, you stinking bum. You're not leaving here till you tell us which of us won the Emmy Award for Best Actress of the Year. Look at her. I swear to God. Has she won again? Tell me. Is it true? Did I win another Emmy? I want to see my lawyer. Has she won another goddamn Emmy? Tell me, you're laughing. I don't know. All I do is make the lousy statuettes. I don't even have a vote. It's because I'm too pretty. It's because I don't cry every week like Mary Beth. You have the right to remain silent. But anything you say can and will be taken down and used in evidence against you. He's dead, Christine. That's great, Mary Beth. That's really great. It's not enough you have babies and operations every other goddamn week. Now we're going to have a murder trial. And you know what that means, don't you? Another lousy Emmy to you. <laughs> Friends, Romans, countrymen, boys and girls, mums and dads, I come to Betty Caesar not to praise him. Oh, yes, I do. <clears throat> well, I will. So old Reggie said, it's so funny. You can't you possibly can't cash me this check. No, you? never. Oh, you that well, well, remember, you can't remember. there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, freeze. Nobody move. Uh, we are the provisional wing of the SDP, a group totally and wholeheartedly dedicated to, uh, uh, what are we dedicated to? Improving my wine cellar? No, no, no. Oh, um, wait a minute. Look it up. It I'm sorry. Um, oh, improving the quality of the Guardian cryptic crossword. No, 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 no. Oh, oh got it. Anyway. To discovering an alliance policy that everyone can agree on. No, that's impossible. <laughs> oh. No, let's go in again. Go in again. Sorry. Sorry. We'll be a minute. Very nice. We always go fox hunting these people, and we don't actually yeah. believe I have a little man who does this for Freeze. No, no, nobody move. We are the provisional wing of the STP, a group totally and wholeheartedly dedicated to increasing the membership of the STP and improving my wine cellar. And improving his wine cellar. And to this end, we planted a bomb at this dinner party in order to prove that we mean business. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, don't, don't worry. It's, it's um, not a very big bomb. Oh, <laughs> and it probably won't go off. No, no. At, at least until after you've finished your coffees, yes, anyway. Yes, very, very good. Good. But nevertheless, no, nevertheless, it may make rather a big bang. Yes. Well. And so we've brought with us some very special... Earmuffs. Oh, oh, yes. and, and, and some, some, some rather nice petty forms. Oh, well. <laughs> but they're just a present. Oh, they're just a present, <laughs> yes. Oh, and some claret for the nerves. Yes. Oh, but now, that, oh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, our, our demands, uh, we're going to hand out the STP member application oh, yes. forms, okay, um, which you must fill in or, or else. Oh, or else what? Or, um... Um, what was it? Uh, I, I had it a moment ago. Um, no, yes, or, or else we kill you. Oh, <laughs> yes, one at a time, uh, by making you listen to all Bill Rogers' speeches. <laughs> this is the police. You've got ten minutes to come out with your hands up, or we're coming in to get you. Oh, well, well, right. Right. That's, That's what we do. A vote. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is your last chance. The SAS are ready, and Lewis Collins is nearly out of makeup. <laughs> right. Um, Let's have a show of hands, please. First, those in favour of the hostage situation coming to an end. One thing. Yes, yes. 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 Put me down three. 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 
those in favour of the hostage situation not coming to an end. Yes, Two. Two. Yes. Those in favour of discovering where Lewis Collins keeps his weapon. Oh, yes, I yes. say. One. <laughs> and finally, how many for more claret? Oh, oh yes, put it all down. <laughs> Unanimous. Oh, carried. All over Britain, from Dagenham to Cowley, the question on everybody's lips is, why do all British cars have foreign names? Over now to our motoring correspondent, Carlotte Miranda. It made in the UK when bought Grenada, Sierra, Cortina, Fiesta, Montego, Astro, Oak, Priest. They're all British cars made with all British homes. Why must the name come from overseas? <laughs> in Granada, Sierra, Cortina, Fiesta, Contigo, Astro, Old Priest. They're all British cars made with all British parts. Why must the name come from overseas? Sirocco, Allegro, Orion, and Nova, they're all of them, all of them the same. It's only the Japanese car makers who Daily Gazette, Daily Gazette, eight pages in full colour. Get your fabulous, sensational Daily Globe, now with 16 pages in full colour. Daily Gazette, get your super sort of way sizzling Daily Gazette, now with 32 pages in super sort of way sizzling in full colour. Get your Daily Globe, now with colour photos of Samantha Fox in the nude. <laughs> Daily Gazette. 32 colour pages of nude Samantha Fox photos, five million pound bingo games, plus the chance to win a four week holiday in the Bahamas. Get your Daily Globe, now with 36 colour pages of Bo Derek in the nude, plus five super million billion pound bingo games, plus the chance to win six weeks in the Virgin Islands, plus three free pieces of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Daily Gazette, get your Daily Gazette. Now with 48 colour pages of new Joan Collins photos, 10 billion pound bingo games, plus a free car, plus 126 free pieces of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Right. <laughs> get your Daily Globe, get your Daily Globe. Now with 128 pages of super sore away sizzling sexy Madonna photos in the nude, plus 25 million billion trillion pound bingo games, plus the chance to win a free house, a free car, a free yacht, and 14 million pieces of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now I'll give up. Give us a copy of the Daily Globe. Sorry, mate, they're all on strike. <laughs> now, you're being very silly indeed, miss. I have to take your top teeth out. All you have to do is sit there, relax, and trust in me. But that's just it. I don't trust you. Yeah, but trust is imperative if I'm to take your teeth out. Why on earth don't you trust me? Because you're a flaming vet, that's why. <laughs> Hey, Bobby, come and have a look at this. What is it, Queen? She? <laughs> yeah. Well, come yeah. and have a look, you big daft lump. All right, I will. Look, there's a fella out there with a television camera on our front garden. What's all this, then? Well, how do I know? Ask him 
a big something else. All right, so I will queen, she, girl, love. <laughs> hey, lads, what's the meaning of all this, then? We're the television camera crew from down yeah, the road. Listen, what are you doing outside our That's house? What I'm trying to tell you, we're from Brookside. All right, lad, get this lot shifted for a chin. The Hang on else. a minute, Bobby. What are you doing outside our house? We're filming you and your husband, Bobby. All right, lad, on your bike. You're doing no filming here. What are you talking about? We've been filming you twice a week for the last two years. when we've been upstairs doing what we've been doing. Yes. What, on the bloody cars, Oh, no, it doesn't mean on the cars. You don't mean on the cars, do you? No wonder all the lads at the union meetings have been giving me funny looks. No, I know I have never had it in the corner shop you so much about our current goings over that university fella. Oh, Bobby, how am I going to face the neighbours? You don't have to face the neighbours. They're in the show with you. What? Well, I ain't class on the telly. <laughs> Who'd watch an old moan like him? You'd don't be, make me laugh. You'd be telling us the core kills are on next. They are. They're in the next shot. What, that looks gallery? All right, green, she, girl, blow. Pick this to me. I'll sort it out. All right, lads. On your bike. Get back to Jeremy Flippin' Beadle show. Bobby. You're doing no filming here, lads. Bobby. Fancy trying to catch us out with that old one, eh, she, green? Girl, look. Put the telly on, girl. Must think us scouts as thick as two short planks. Must think us scouts as thick as two short planks. Cool blimey, all right, mate. Early king and queen. That's the biggest deli deal that I have ever seen. Cool blimey, struth gov. Come on, sing along. It's a load of pockney phrases fun together to make a song. Up the lap of pork. What a load of rubbish. Sweet, cheerful cookies talk. Cool bloody fish and chips. What a flipping pong. And here we have the chorus in our cockney song.